Hey guys, today I'm going to be reading for you the News to You article for the week. This week, the article is titled, Removing Trash from Space. I usually like to do a fun video at the beginning, but I couldn't find a good one to do this week, so I apologize. So here we're gonna start off on page one. A space company launched a mission on March 22nd. The space company is named Astroscale. Astroscale launched a mission to solve a problem in space. The problem is trash. So it does seem like there are, this is kind of a problem, not only on earth, but also in space, which is kind of scary to me. Um, so we have a problem with pollution here. We've talked about this. Earth Day is coming up on the 22nd. But it seems like this must be a problem up in space as well. Let's move to page two. Space has a lot of trash. The trash includes broken satellites. Satellites send information to Earth. Broken satellites can be dangerous to working satellites. Broken satellites can crash into working satellites. Uh, so there is a lot of satellites up in space. Let's kind of look that up. Well, how many satellites are up in space? So right now there's nearly 6,000 satellites circling our tiny planet. And it says about 60% of those are defunct satellites. So that's just basically space junk. So only 40% of those are actually working, which is kind of crazy. So here we can kind of see a picture. That's how many satellites are orbiting around Earth. It looks like a lot. It's kind of look like little bugs, but there is a lot of satellites there. Let's move to page three. Astroscale thinks the trash is a problem. They want to solve the problem by removing the trash. Astroscale planned a new space mission. The mission is called ELSA-D. So E-L-S-A-D. The mission includes two spacecraft. So that's kind of cool. Like, like we just looked up, there's 60% of the satellites aren't even working and they're just still orbiting Earth and crashing into other satellites and kind of causing us a lot of problems. Let's move to page four. Astroscale launched the spacecraft on March 22nd. They launched the spacecraft from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is a country in Asia. The spacecraft are now in space. This mission is a test for the spacecraft. So they launched from not our country, a different country over in Asia called Kazakhstan. And this is kind of like a test mission for the spacecraft to see if, if this kind of mission is doable to pick up that trash in space. Let's move to page five. Astroscale wants to see if the spacecraft work. The spacecraft should work together. One spacecraft is big and one spacecraft is small. The small spacecraft will pretend to be a broken satellite. Hmm. So it looks like this first mission is not gonna be about actually picking up the broken satellites, but it's just kind of a test. Let's move to page six. The big spacecraft will practice catching the small spacecraft. Astroscale hopes the mission is successful. They hope the big spacecraft can catch the small spacecraft. Astroscale wants the big spacecraft to catch trash later, but they need to make sure the big spacecraft works. That's pretty smart to try to test it out before they actually try to get some of those other satellites up there. Let's move to page seven. 
The mission should last about six months. Wow, that's a quite a long time. Astroscale is excited about the mission. They hope to solve the problem of trash in space. They want to use a spacecraft to remove the trash. Do you think the mission will be successful? Let's hope so, because this is kind of becoming a big problem for our, not just our country, but our world in general, because these satellites circle the whole world. Let's move to page eight. So here is a page about Astroscale. Astroscale launched a new space mission. Astroscale is a space company. They create spacecraft. Astroscale started in 2013. Astroscale headquarters is in Tokyo, Japan. So again, not a country that we are from. And Japan is also in Asia, just like Kazakhstan. Let's move to page nine. So here is a, a slide about Kazakhstan. So this is the country that the, the spacecrafts are going to launch from. So this is our where page. Remember, where is a place? The new Astroscale launched from Kazakhstan. Many space missions launch from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is a country in Central Asia. Nur Sutan is the capital of Kazakhstan. The Caspian Sea is southwest of Kazakhstan. Let's move to the next page. And we should now be on our, whoop, our joke page here <laughs> with the knock knock jokes, page 11. So we go, knock, knock, who's there? Launch, launch who? Launch is my favorite meal. So instead of lunch is my favorite meal, we're saying launch, like spacecraft launch into space. Let's go to page 12. This should be our other joke page. I have a joke. Tell me, what do you give an alien? I don't know what, some space. <laughs> so, you know, we have personal space, our bubbles right now. Um, so what do you give an alien? Some space. <laughs> now we're on our game page, which is the page where we circle the pictures that we have noticed from the story that we read today. So, got my pen tool up, and now we're going to look at this first word, which is solve. Did we read about that today? We did because Astroscale wants to solve the problem of trash in space. So they're having this test mission to figure out if they can do that. What about the word satellite? So satellites are actually the trash that's up in space. Um, we launch satellites and sometimes they get old, sometimes they break, sometimes we just stop using them. And we don't use about 60% of the satellites that are up in space. What about the word problem? Did we read about that? So again, this trash that's up in space is becoming kind of a problem for the world, not just us, the United States. What about the word brick wall? Did we read about that? Hmm. 
No, we didn't read about a brick wall. What about the word mission? We did read about the word mission because this first mission is kind of a test to see if this is possible. What about the word rose? No, we didn't read about a rose. What about the word remove? So their main goal is to remove the trash from space or the other the satellites that aren't working. So they are going to remove something. What about the word launch? So their, their spacecraft launched on March 22nd, and this mission should take about six months. What about the word insects? No, we didn't read about insects. What about the word test? So this first mission is their test to see if this is doable to remove that trash from space. So they have a small aircraft and a big aircraft and the, the big spacecraft is gonna try to capture the, the smaller one. What about the word spacecraft? Did we read about that today? We did read about spacecrafts because that is what is going to be capturing the trash. What about the word space? We did read about space because that's where this mission will take place, is in our orbit around the Earth. What about the word practice? Did we read about that today? did read about practice. 
So this first mission is going to be their practice run where they're going to try to capture that smaller spacecraft. What about the word trash? Did we read about that? We did read about trash because that's what they're going to try to clean up from space. What about the word White House? No, we didn't read about the White House. What about the word dangerous? We did read about how dangerous the, the trash from the satellites can be up in space. Okay, clear my drawings and we'll move on to the review page, page 14. So we're gonna start with question one. What is this paper about? Is it about national parks, special ship, or removing trash from space? Circle the answer you think is correct. Removing trash from space. Number two, who launched a space mission to solve a problem in space? Astroscale, US Congress, or Facebook? Circle the answer you think is correct. Astro scale. First option. Now we're on question three. So this is a where, so this is a place. Where are the spacecraft now? Space, ocean, or desert? Circle the answer you think is correct. Space, first option. Remember they launched on March 22nd and now they're up in space. Question four, what does Astroscale think is a problem in space? Is it planets, asteroids, or trash? Circle the answer you think is correct. Trash, the last option. Number five, what is named Elsa D? Rocket, mission, or character? Circle the answer you think is correct. The mission is LCD. Middle option. All right, number six. What kind of satellite does the trash include? New, broken, or working satellites? Circle the answer you think is correct.
broken satellites, middle option. So these are satellites that we no longer use anymore. All right, let's move to page 15, last page. This is our crossword puzzle page. So remember words that are across, we write horizontally and that's how we normally write. Words that are down go vertically and it's a little different than we normally write. So we're gonna start with all of our words that go across. Our first one being number three. We find three in our puzzle, it's right here. And that first word says mission. Mission is spelled M. I. S. S. I. O. And that spells mission. So the mission started on March 22nd. And this first mission, remember, is their test round. So let's cross out number three. Now we're going to move on to six. So six is right here in our puzzle. We would like to find that spot. And that word says trash. Trash is spelled T. R. A. S. H, trash, let's cross it off. So remember the broken satellites are the ones we don't use anymore. Those are what we consider trash up in space. And that's about 60% of the satellites. Let's look at number seven. So seven says problem. Seven in our puzzle is right here. Problem is spelled P. R O B L E M that says a problem. Let's cross it off. So our problem for this article that we read is that there is trash in space. And so they're trying to solve that problem by cleaning it up. Let's move on to number eight. So eight in our puzzle is right here. And that word says space. Space is spelled S. P. A, C, E, space. Let's cross it off. So remember the trash is up in space. So these spacecraft have to launch and go up there to clean it up. Last a crossword, number nine, is right here in our puzzle, it says test. Test is spelled T E S T. That spells test. Let's cross it off. So, this first mission is a test round to see if this is even possible for this company. Now we're gonna move on to our words that go down or vertically. The first one is number one. We find number one in our puzzle, it is right here. And that word is dangerous, D.
A. We've already written an N. G. E. R we've already written. O. U. And S. That spells dangerous. Let's cross it off. So this is kind of a, a dangerous problem that we have up in space because these broken satellites, these ones that aren't, aren't in use can hit our working satellites. Let's move on. Number two. So two is right here in your puzzle. And that word says launch. Launch is spelled L. A. U. N. C. And we've already written an H. That spells launch. Let's cross it off. So our spacecraft's here launched on March 22nd. So launch means that they were shot off into space. Number four, satellite. Four is right here. And satellite is spelled S, which we've already written. A. T. E. L. Another L, which we've already written. I. T, which we've already written. E, that spells satellite it off. So satellites are what we consider the trash, right? They're the ones that are broken or we not, we're not using anymore. That's one number five says remove. Five is right here in our puzzle and remove is spelled R. E. M. O, B, E, which we've already written. That's how you spell remove. And our goal for this mission is for them to go up there and remove the trash. So I want to thank you guys for listening today to our News to You article for the week. Now you can go ahead and get out your accompanying packet and you'll need something to write with, some scissors, some glue, and something to color with. So color pencils, crayons, markers, it doesn't really matter. So I hope you guys learned a little bit about how we're going to hopefully remove trash from space and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.